Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I have a digital multimeter. It's uh, it's from Philips, and it's uh, the PM2534, and uh, it's a system multimeter. I don't know what is the difference between a multimeter and a system multimeter. Maybe it is uh, programmable abilities, and uh, and uh, yeah, it's a 6.5, so it actually is a proper proper one. This one had a lot of uh, rough uh, life. The, the the display is bleeding, and uh, yeah, well, it uh, <laughs> can absolutely use some cleaning. Um, but it's actually a nice meter, and and I think it, uh, I think the readings were still good. So we're gonna see that. Uh, yeah, the, the, I I haven't seen them that much, but but uh, since I have one somehow, it also appears in my local eBay that uh, people are selling this one. So. Uh, but it's actually cool with 6.5 it's it's uh, it's pretty cool and uh, you have them with connectors in the front and connectors in the back this one only has in the front and it seems there is a screw that you can just switch it over from the front to the back or it is a special option uh, but this one has in the front and and i like that because that's convenient I do have uh, an extra display, this one as you can see, I told you was bleeding, um, so I, I tried to replace it, I, I hope it's the correct one, but uh, we will see, so uh, let's open it up, we will uh, have a closer look now, as you can see it really became brown, well some of it will be UV, but a lot of it will be just because of his age, it became a little bit dirty, and it's uh, really a pity about the uh, the display but we are going to try that and also this can be a lot brighter you can put a special probe in the front i think it's a high voltage probe and um, let's see in the back what we have um, yeah, yeah and it here is this uh, system connector and of course the the ieee external triggering this is a really a professional meter and maybe you can even put a scan card in because here i also see this uh, extra option and uh, yeah here you have this uh, to put your connectors in the in the back well opening is probably not too complicated it's usually it's just the two screws in the in the back and then you just slide it out to the front philips is very consistent with that with the meters i've seen even the frequency counters well i i had one on my bench and you uh, have seen that uh, i sold that one by the way so uh, it has found a good home i'm sure and uh, let's slide this open Oof. the rail comes out yeah, that was here well this we can uh, clean later then uh, let's have a look inside oh there is a lot of protection material in the connectors and in the bottom uh, let's see how we open this okay that was a bit tricky so after you untie the two screws um yeah one needs one you need to slide to the back and then the front and then the the top you slide to the back because it hooks in here in the in the pcb actually and uh, yeah that was just something you need to and this one slides then the other way and then it should unhook from the pcb but it seems i need more space so i need to somehow take out the front so i need to see how that works so i was able to uh, take out the front um, i used my tool again not to to damage because it is kind of locked just with the plastic on the PCB so I just carefully pushed it up with this tool and this is great 
uh, and that also immediately uh, answered my question. You can just move this from the back to the front because here you have the, the probe connector. The same probe connector is in the back also. So all you do is just put your wires to the back and then it's to the back and like this it is to the front. So uh, I think uh, whatever meter you have, if it's in the back or in the front, you just put it to the front. It is very easy. Well, it was about the display and uh, there is one screw here and the rest is just all pushed in, in, in into the plastic. So hopefully we don't break anything when we take it out. And, and, and secondly, that the display is uh, good. Okay, now we have good access to the display and the buttons we can clean, so uh, that is a good thing. And uh, yeah, I do have a display, but I'm really, really not sure it is the same. Uh, where is it? Oh. I have been told it was for this one, so I just uh, trust that. Uh, we can compare if the size is the same and it, it, it looks to be the same. So this one is not, not bleeding, so. I just tried it. Well, it looks like it is pushed in here with two pins and then it's hooked in. So yeah, I I'm, I'm think I'm just going to carefully push that out. Mm. Mm. That seems to work. Just, um, just tying this together and then pushing it out. Tuck. Okay. And then it should unhook and it does. Perfect. Okay. The board. Maybe we can clean the contacts a little bit. Here we have the zebra strip. That's usually enough to clean with a uh, little bit of alcohol. Oh. Well, it really does seem the same. Let me see if we can carefully can get it out. Not to damage the glass, but because later maybe I have find another Philips that looks even worse and then Yes, it really does look the same. Well, first I'm going to to clean the glass to take all the scratches out because then we will have a very clear So uh, we replaced the display and 
it looks amazing look at this and uh, let's see we have here millivolts and we can do speed it is this pattern speed 3 speed 4 then it's super fast and now it's super slow but it has a lot of digits so uh, that seems to work filter works we have here null fail yeah good check address test address well oh, prima manual it seems that the, the all the displays kind of work manual up 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 Now we can actually try to put something uh, on it. Yes, it works. And the display looks amazing. Yes, that it looks really nice. And look at how many digits. This is super nice. And it is now in the, yes. That is super nice. That's a good result. I'm gonna continue the cleaning and put it back together. Look at this, it almost turned out white. Really nice. Um, yeah, we can put the, our voltage reference and it should be 2.4, well, you see here, 9.8.9.7. And that is exactly what it says. So that is put on, on the five. It should be zero, zero, 001 on the 7.5. It is 2 millivolts off. So, uh, 2 millivolts. Cool. Super nice. Oh, uh, that's it. Replacement of the display of the Philips. You could have a, a, a closer look at the device. I totally forgot to to zoom on the zoom in on the on the circuit board, so, so that needs to be done another time. But uh, I think you got a pretty good idea of uh, what the meter looks like, and it has amazingly a lot of digit uh, six point five. It's it that's just amazing. So uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.